Finally, I'd like to say that uh, unlike Councilman Lunica and yourself, Mr. Mayor, I am not happy with our relationship with the county. Uh, and I think the Macklin Road Connector is a good example uh, of that. Um, we were surprised to learn that there was an unbeknownst vote coming up about a Macklin Road Connector. Uh, and I had to learn after the fact, we think, what that road entailed. And then during the hearing itself, the county says that this has been under consideration by the county for 22 years. Well, it's been under consideration by the county for 22 years. We never got so much as a briefing from a staff member. We never got a briefing from any of the elected officials about what they were wanting to do. And at this juncture, it appears that they've approved the acquisition of right-of-way to build potentially up to six lanes of traffic from Macklin Road to the end of Windy Hill Road, where it intersects with Austell Road, and it becomes a Smyrna taxpayer unfunded mandate to keep the corridor open and moving from that point on. I hope that's not the case, but I have nothing in writing. And courtesy of Councilman Newcomb tonight, there's an ad in the paper that this coming Wednesday night at the Stratton Library on 1100 Powder Springs Road, I'll say that one more time, the Stratton Library at 1100 Powder Springs Road, this coming Wednesday night at 6 p.m. will be a meeting to discuss the Macklin Road Connector. I plan to be there. I hope as many members of Mayor and Council can be there as well. I would encourage you to be there if you've got the time. We've received no letter about this particular meeting. We don't know uh, anything. It's consistent with what we've gotten on the Connector from the, thus far. We've had to rely on our own consultant to even track down some of the engineering data. Our city engineer had absolutely no data on this. I do think that moving forward we'll have an opportunity to learn from the county uh, the consequences of this particular road and obtain from them uh, some reasonable assurance that they're going to provide funding assistance because the vast majority of this traffic is trying to get to the Interstate 75 and Cobb Parkway corridor. That's the reason for building it. Um, but I would say that there's many definitions of what regional planning is, and the Atlanta Regional Commission is an important commission. And the, what Smyrna has gotten on the Macklin Road connector is not regional planning. And with that, Mr. Mayor, I yield. Um, Mr. McNabb, you don't suppose the county commissioners have in mind with this Macklin Road extension helping to get traffic flowing past and away from the Belmont Hills redevelopment? It could be what they're thinking. Mike, I have stole a little bit of my thunder, but I, too, have some concerns about the Macklin Road connector. Uh, I was at Emory Adventist Hospital last Thursday, attended a briefing, and uh, had some meetings. But I was stopped in the hallway by people who said, what is going on with this, and what do you know about it? And our answer was, we don't know much of anything about it other than what we read in the paper. Uh, we are going to have some meetings. We have been promised some meetings and some information, and we do want to look into that. But the way to solve traffic problems for one community is not to redirect the traffic into another community without any recourse or assistance, and that's our concern. Uh, the Macklin Road Connector is not built to help Smyrna citizens, uh, but it's going to put a lot of additional traffic, we, we fear, on Smyrna roads. And we need to understand the impact of that, and we also need some fairness in terms of uh, the cost assistance to handle that. Uh, I'm not saying we're for or against it, just saying we've got some concerns and we're going to follow through and, and look into that. But it's hot, and I'm sure everybody wants to go home, so I yield your uh, About the Macklin Road. Right, right paper, okay. Thank you, Ron. Uh, the meeting will be held at, at the Stratton Library on 1100 Powder Springs Road on Wednesday, August 8, 2007, at 6 p.m. Um, I think after last Thursday night, uh, we had um, uh, the, our consultants uh, give us an update along with their city engineer about this Macklin Road issue. Um, I, I don't want to get folks alarmed. Um, we did not know that it was coming up this quick for a vote, uh, but we have been assured by uh, our district commissioner, Jolie Thompson, and Sam Olins that they'll be um, some public hearings down here in Smyrna to talk about the impact that it is going to have on our community. Uh, as we sit here tonight, this is just a two-lane road that is being built 
just two lanes, and that's all. Um, it could go to six, it could go to ten, it could go to twelve. But what we were told Thursday night is just a two-lane road. Um, I don't believe it's going to help uh, to alleviate any of the traffic concerns in Marietta on Powder Springs or Whitlock Avenue. It'll just make it easier for those folks that are coming over to Windy Hill, make it a lot easier for them to get to Windy Hill rather than traveling a couple of smaller streets. Um, you know, I get frustrated, too, um, with other government bodies, but um, I really feel like this one that, that uh, we've let our commissioner know uh, well in advance. We've got some concerns, and uh, he has uh, assured us there'll be some public hearings, uh, and we'll let the citizens know uh, once we get closer to that. Still probably going to be, I don't know, six, eight, ten years before it's built. There's still a lot of land acquisition that has to be done. I think they're just in the design stages. So, uh, Yes, we had a great event Saturday night. I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh,